What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven and Stereo and in today's video we're checking out a deluxe track from McFly from Power to Play. Literally my favorite album from them right now. So fucking good. Uh, this is for the kids. I'm super excited. If you guys like this make sure to smash the like. Go check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. It means a lot to me. I have Power to Play as a full uncut album reaction over there. I also have a um, documentary for McFly uh, reaction. I did the McBusted um, like documentary, which was super fun. There's a lot of fun stuff over there. So if you guys want to check that out and support me, links in the description, all those things out of the way, let's check out power to play, not power to play. We've already checked that out. It's wonderful. We're checking out for the kids. Yes. I love that Tom can just like bring out this Green Day vibe, right? But at the same time, like can do a fucking musical. Like I just, I love him so much. Okay, I love this because um, you think about relationships, especially once people have kids, people always say, well, you got to work it out. You got to stay together for the kids. And like, yeah, that's important, but also it totally like diminishes the beauty of being in love and being married and having this relationship, right? It totally diminishes that whenever the entire reason that you stay together is because you have children together. That isn't what love is supposed to be. So I love this song because Tom is essentially saying like, it's not just for the kids. I'm lo I love you and I want to be with you forever because I love you. We happen to have the kids and that's a piece of it, but that is not in the equation when it comes to why I want to be with you. Very important to be in this space because yeah, a lot of people will fake love in order to be uh, around for the kids. And actually, I think it just kind of hurts everybody in the end when you do that. Yes. Though we hardly ever show it, somewhere deep inside we know it. I couldn't even leave you if I tried. I love that. I just love the melody of that right there. I like that it has this like doo-wop kind of sound to it. Let's go! Wait, I love the harmonies here. You know what I love? I So I've, I promise I've never heard this song. But like, I don't know if it's just because of the... Of the writing style i mean mcfly in general usually they write a song you kind of know the words to it they're really good at like just lyrical composition but i don't know like what's gonna happen next and yet i feel like i know the fucking words to this like come on G give me some credit here that's pretty fucking cool i just i that's so sick i like i just realized i'm mouthing the lyrics to a song i've never fucking heard before <laughs> I 
I love that. Ooh, key change. Okay, I fucking love this because this will be something that if you've been watching the channel for a long time, or at least my McFly content, then you'll understand what I'm about to say. I've always said that I look up to them because they've been in the game for a long time, right? They, um, it, and like, they're still so cool. Like, despite like getting older, still playing like all this, like pop punk and all this stuff, you would think that at some point they'd be burnt out. But like, I never get that feel from them, right? So I always look up to them as people who stay true to themselves as they get older. So the reason I say that is that this song is, gives me that same sort of vibe, right? Like they put out this awesome fucking rock record, like so sick, bringing the instruments back, making it fucking mm, so powerful, right? But then they make this love ballad, right? And it's so cool because as somebody who is also getting older, I've been married for 10 years. I love the fact that they write this ballad that Tom just like expresses his love for his wife in this most beautiful way that is like very relatable to people. I, mean, I don't have children. I have no plan on having children, but, but I get those vibes of like, I know what it means when people want to stay together for the kids, but I also know what it means when you put all that aside and you just want to express your love to who you're with because you're both doing an amazing job trying to be parents and trying to like navigate through life. And obviously it's got to be hard to be a dad and be on tour. There's so much that goes on with that. So the stress that gets put on your wife, it's a lot. So it's inspirational to me to hear him sing the song to his wife that he's been together with. And he's just like expressing that love. It's so incredible to me. And I fucking love that. And I love McFly and I always respect them and look up to them for this reason. I love that these guys are still fucking rock stars, but they're so cool. Like I've, I've gotten to talk to some of them and like, they're just the nicest fucking people in the world. And then you got this love ballad. It's fucking so sick. I just should have been in a fucking band. That's really what I should have done. I should have been in a band. And then, you know, all these years could go by and I could say like, oh yeah, I'm still, you know, staying true to myself and I'm fucking playing music that I want to play and writing songs from the heart, all the things I want to do. It's almost like I'm just living vicariously through McFly. And I guess I'm okay with that because it's fucking awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Huge shout out to Ellie over on Patreon. Thank you so much for requesting this. Make sure you guys leave a like, check out Patreon, cool McFly content. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.